Let's take a look at follow-up boss reporting. There's a lot of cool things you can do here. Uh, if you're an owner or an admin, uh, you'll have access to all this information. Uh, agents would only have access to their information. But I'm here in the reporting tab at the top. There's a number of options. There's some cards here as well that take you to uh, some kind of preset items that you may want to take a look at. To start, I'm just going to dive into agent activity. So this is a really great report, and there's a lot you can do here to customize this. Um, I'm going to hop into the whole team here so we can see everybody. And again, I'm under agent activity. So this is going to show me a number of things. I'm on monthly here, um, which is going to show this graph as monthly. But over here, I'm at all time. So this is going to show the stats down here all time. If you want to change that and look at it monthly, it's nice to look at last 30 days. Uh, I think if you're going to do this consistently, doing last seven days is also another great um, way to take a look at this. So you can also see this jumped to daily. So I've got daily and weekly here within this month for this graph and this segment. One of the cool things you can do here is customize what you're viewing. So you can add or remove columns here. It's just a checkbox so you can see all the options you've got. Um, I'm going to leave it as it is for now, but hopping in, you can see here at a quick glance, new leads, initially assigned leads and currently assigned leads. This can be very useful in a number of ways. If you're using an ISA, um, you're obviously going to have fewer initially assigned leads, assuming they're taking inbound. Um, but currently assigned will at least show you what each agent currently kind of has as a, a workload, for lack of a better term. You can also see the calls, emails, texts, and notes during that time, as well as tasks completed, appointments set, appointments that occurred, as well as leads not acted on. Now, every everything that's blue in Follow Up Boss, you can click on, and it'll drill you down to that person or those people. So that's another great feature if you wanted to be able to come in here and either at mention an agent or tag these or reassign them. There's a ton of things you can do there. But I wanna hop back. I like to keep this part pretty simple. There's again, a lot you can do as far as adding or removing columns, but keeping it simple high level, especially if you're just digging into this is a really solid idea. There's a lot of stuff you can do, but just getting adoption at a basic level is really key here. Another cool thing is as you customize this, it generally stays, it's generally sticky within your account, but you can also grab the URL and the URL, which is pretty long, includes the fact that these are the columns you're viewing. So it can be a really good way as well as some of these settings like the weekly in the last 30 days. So you can actually grab this URL and either bookmark it or use it in a custom field, use it to send out to an agent and say, hey, you know, take a look at this, you know, please be sure everyone's acted on. Uh, things like that. You can also drop this down to take you to a number of other options. So if you just want to view the new leads, leads not acted on, you can do that through this drop down. So now back to the card. Some of these cards are just shortcuts to that. So if we hop in speed to lead, it basically just gives you the proper drop down. And as you can see, it's still sitting here on everyone and the last 30 days. So again, a little more congruency as far as being able to see this, you can see the speed to action on um, new leads, um, speed to first call, to first text message, or first email. So another really great feature. Another cool thing, I'm just going to hop back into the regular lead source here. You can also sort this by quantity. So again, another great way to view this as kind of your top lead sources for this time frame. Um, and again, these are all clickable, so you can hop in to see who those leads are, as well as the activity done by source on those leads. So this can be really great information. Hopping over to calls, this is very specific to actual phone calls. And the other cool thing, if you're back in overview and you go to cards, there's a call logs feature that's actually going to show you um, recent calls that were done. I believe this I believe this is sorted by um, recency automatically. So you can see the duration of those calls. You can see if they were to a company inbox or a team inbox. 
um, a call to the company number, a call specific to an agent. You can also download a recorded call or just listen to it. So again, a great way if you're kind of auditing your account to come in here, listen to some of the recent calls. Um, of course, you can at mention an agent on a call if you want to say, hey, you know, great job on this one. Or, you know, maybe next time you can do the presumptive close or whatever it is that, that you're looking to train people up on or check on. Um, so that's handy. Batch email reporting can be great. Once again, you can drill down to the right people. So if you send a batch email and then you want to drill down into who it was sent to um, or the number of opens, uh, when you mouse over, it shows you unique opens and it shows you um, a percentage there as well. You can also see clicks and unsubscribes and any bounces. And again, you can drill down to any of these. So if you wanna clean up people that bounced, click on this go through and either remove them or um, make a smart list for agents to get updated contact information, uh, whatever it is that you're looking to do there. So the marketing report is also great. This actually pulls in, for a lot of you, this will pull in automatically, um, but this pulls in some pretty cool uh, information if it's a Facebook lead or a pay-per-click. So good info here that can show you um, even down to some specific campaigns uh, depending on how you have this set up, you can see, you know, leads, appointments, and deals closed from some more granular marketing things. The deals reporting is also really fantastically great. A lot of sorting you can do down here. So you can sort by, you know, time to close or their current status or the, the deal stage that they're in, <clears throat> as well as, of course, go into the specific deal. You can see who is on it. You can see your agent and team commission as split on the deal card. Um, so again, a really great feature. One important note, um, this information up here is your high level information. This level information right here will actually change as you go, as you change the reporting period that you're looking at here. So that can be handy, but it can also be a little confusing for some people, but another great will, way to drill down there. Appointments is, is similar in the sense that you can sort by appointment type or outcome. So if you want to say, hey, how many listing appointments do we have um, and how many did we win or how many did we lose and where did those leads come from? So super handy. I think a lot of people are familiar with leaderboard. Um, this is basically kind of a high level view uh, with the point system. If you mouse over, it'll actually show you how many points are attributed to each item. These are not currently editable. Um, it's my anticipation that they could become that way in the future, but for now, there's just a point value assigned here uh, for different types of things. Obviously, appointment is a higher value, a call that connected, um, this is a call lasting longer than two minutes, um, is 100 points, call attempt is 10, uh, a text message is two, and an email is one. So this agent goals is a newer feature, uh, but you can come in here and each agent can set their own goal, but this also has some deeper info as you drill down. So even if your agents aren't inputting goals, you can still come here, see their closed deals, their sales volume. It also shows you um, commission paid out versus upcoming um, commission or pending commissions. This also pulls from the deals card and the splits there. Um, you can also see how many currently uh, assigned leads and unique conversations and appointments um, that they've had. So, and these will be also be populated with the most recent deals, appointments, and leads. So again, even if you're not used having your agent put goals in here, this is still a useful tool to drill down into your reporting. So one last thing I wanna show is this properties um, tab. This is pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna go to all time. We're here in a demo account, so there's not a ton of info, but if you're actually getting leads in with property addresses, this is gonna show a map tied to those inquiries. Uh, in fact, you can even drill down to those specific in inquiries. So if you had people inquire on a, a hot property that went under contract quickly, you can pretty easily find those people and send them out, hey, we've got a new listing, or hey, you know, we're or, um, you know, where you're interested in this property would love to, you know, help you find some other options. So really great feature. Another thing that would be a great use of this is actually screenshotting this uh, for a listing presentation or even pulling it up. Um, you want to be obviously mindful of sharing uh, 
data and other people's info, but even pulling it up and just saying, hey, look, we've had, you know, 5,000 inquiries in the last year on, you know, properties near where your home is. So another really great feature, and again, you can um, change the timeframes here um, and things like that. So very useful feature that I, I think a lot of people are not aware of. So wanted to save that one to the end, but diving into your follow boss reporting can be powerful. I recommend keeping it simple at first. And then as you get a little more clear on what you're trying to measure and your setup, getting good appointments and outcomes in there, um, as well as using the deals better, you're going to continue to see benefit from checking your follow up boss reporting.